Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to properly polish silver to a very nice shine as you see here. So you are going to need a few tools. What I'm using is a polishing compound called Mag and Aluminum Polish, which I love. It's fantastic. You're also going to need a felt bit. I wish I had a new one. <laughs> but anyways, they come in that white color. It's for my Dremel. You're going to need that felt bit. You wouldn't think it would polish metal, but it does. You're also going to need a little mandrel to put that bit on as well as an adjustable collet for your Dremel. I am using a Dremel, Oops. which you can see over there. It's hanging up. <laughs> Not very good setup, but it is what it is. And I also have a flex shaft attached to it. It just makes soldering a lot easier if you don't have a flex shaft. They cost about $30. Then you could just use your Dremel. And you're also going to need a polishing cloth. I also highly recommend using a mask because um, you don't really want to breathe this stuff in. So you're going to start by attaching your felt bit, which I have already been using, to the felt pad. You just screw that, screw that in there. Then attach your collette to your Dremel, my flex shaft. Make sure it's secure and then attach your mandrel with your felt bit opening that up this opens up I love this about this this adjustable collet right here I love it because it can fit any size little mandrel part it gets big or really small so it, it works really well for me and then you could fit any size piece in there and then you're gonna tighten that down and let's begin polishing. Something else I forgot to mention earlier is if you have some glasses, that would be really good because you don't want anything flying into your eyes. Here are some rings that I removed the fire scale from. If you'd like to learn how to remove fire scale from metal naturally, click here. If you have a ring holder, that makes the job a lot easier. Luckily I have one. They're not very much money, only a couple dollars. The reason this makes it so much easier is because when you're polishing your metal with the rotary tool, the metal will heat up and you don't want to burn your fingers. But if you don't have this, you can just hold it tightly with a cloth. So here's my metal. I'm going to get some of the polishing compound and smear it on there. Once that's on there, I'm going to get my Dremel and start polishing it. I'm going to turn off the volume now so you don't hear this horrible, horrible sound. Make sure you're wearing your mask. You do not want to breathe this in and make sure you're wearing your glasses as well. Alright, so you can see here it polishes it to a very nice shine the way I do it. I just use a felt pad and some polishing compound and I really love the results and I'm sure that if you try it this way you will love it too. I had a previous video posted on how to polish but that method doesn't work as well. This is a lot better so. Here's another ring I had um, started working on but it's not completely done as you can see. Anyways, um, if you'd like to learn how to make this ring, go ahead and click this video right here and I'll show you how to make that ring. I hope you guys liked watching. Check out my other videos, comment, rate, subscribe, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, leave a thumbs down if you didn't like it and have a great day. Bye! To get the compound out of the little creases, just wash it with some soap and water with a toothbrush, and that should remove that. And then go in again and polish it with your polishing cloth. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't leave now. You gotta click on one of these links at the bottom to watch those videos. And please subscribe so you can watch more great videos from my channel. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Bye.